Okay, next we'll briefly consider queue implementations uh, using uh, the same basic underlying data structures. So here's the corresponding API for queue of strings. Uh, actually, uh, it's the same API as for stacks, uh, just the names are different. Uh, instead of push, we have NQ. Instead of pop, we have DQ. Uh, and the semantics is different. Uh, for NQ, uh, uh, we add an item, uh, say, uh, at the end of the queue, and for DQ, we uh, remove an item from the beginning. Uh, it's uh, as if you're waiting in line to buy a ticket. Uh, when you NQ, you go at the end, uh, and when the one that's been in there the longest is the one that comes off. Uh, so let's look at how we implement those, uh, first using uh, linked lists uh, and then arrays. Uh, so now, our representation of a queue with a linked list, uh, we need to maintain two pointers, uh, references, one to the first item in the list and the other to the last item in the list. When we insert, uh, we're going to add the item at the end of the list instead of at the beginning, and when we remove, uh, we'll do the same, we'll take it off the front. So uh, here's the uh, implementation of DQ. Uh, it's identical to the code for uh, pop for a stack. Uh, we save away the item, we delete the first node by advancing the reference, uh, and then we return the item. Uh, so identical. Uh, to uh, add a node, or NQ, uh, add a new node to a linked list, we want to put it at the end, so uh, that'll be the last one uh, returned. Uh, so we, to add it at the end, uh, so first thing we need to do is save a link to the last node. Uh, we're going to need that because we need to uh, change its reference from null to point to the new node. Uh, then uh, we'll create uh, a new node for the end of the list. Uh, we'll uh, populate uh, its fields, uh, and then uh, that old link uh, will change that from null to a pointer to the new node. Uh, so again, just a few lines of code. Uh, <coughs> uh, that's basic uh, linked list processing. Uh, actually, uh, years ago when we taught courses in algorithms and data structures, uh, much of the course would be about this kind of pointer manipulation. Uh, but nowadays, uh, that's restricted to just a few implementations like uh, stack and uh, queue and uh, a few other fundamental data structures. Uh, so we don't need so much any more uh, general programs for manipulating linked lists. We encapsulate them in basic data types uh, like these. All right, so let's go back to uh, our full implementation. Uh, and this is just uh, taking care of uh, collecting the code from the previous slides, uh, but also taking care of special cases when the queue uh, is empty um, uh, to make sure that uh, if the queue is empty after we remove an item, we have to set last and all, uh, make sure that both first and last uh, always are what we want them to be. Uh, so those are uh, details that are uh, easy to check. Okay, what about arrays? Well, we won't do the details, uh, but it's not difficult to uh, implement queues with resizing arrays as well. Not difficult, but definitely a tricky programming exercise that uh, people are welcome to try. Uh, so we'll maintain two pointers, the first item in the queue and the tail, which is the position for the next item to appear. Uh, so for NQ, you add a new item at tail, and for DQ, you remove an item for head. Uh, and the trick is that uh, once you get past the capacity, you have to reset back to zero. Uh, and uh, so uh, that's uh, a little extra code. Uh, and then uh, you have to add the resizing capability uh, as well to implement the data structure uh, the same as for stack. Uh, and we'll uh, leave that uh, as an exercise. <coughs>